this uh, new permission and um, we're going to be searching this field and a field over there and back in the woods uh, not these woods I've been in there now a couple of times haven't found an awful lot bit disappointing but it's always open to me so uh, that's good but I'm in here um, just to give a bit of a recap I found my uh, Charles the first shilling in the couple of videos ago just over in that field there so I'm hoping for more found lots of coppers uh, buckles and all that kind of stuff but really looking for a little bit more now uh, it's ridge and furrow uh, as you can see and I've never been that successful on ridge and furrow but anyway uh, we're here today let's see what we can find well that in there is um, part of a uh, measurement chain uh, when I say chain they would measure in chains I can't remember the uh, uh, how many chains I think it's uh, eight furlongs one mile but how many chains to a furlong I think it's ten chains to a furlong and um, every chain would be um, junctioned by one of these and I think it has something to do with the amount of uh, spike so that would perhaps come at about three chains and uh, I'll put a link up on the video uh, because it's quite interesting we were all taught this in school uh, but I'm afraid I've forgotten it from the early 50s we were taught uh, all the old measurements and weights and uh, but that is part of a, a measurement and for the life of me I can't remember the name of the guy who it is named after um, Gunter got it Gunter chain and uh, I think it was Gunter who uh, originated this and uh, so you measured your field field in chains and you got your area in the end but that's what that is anyway okay moving on to the next well looks like we've got a coin down here uh, So look what we got, it looks like a, a penny. The pennies I've had off here, the George, the, uh, sorry, the Edward the Seventh and the George the Fifth have been pretty good. And uh, the Vicky I had off here was absolutely blank, but this could well be a, a Victoria. We'll clean it up and have a little look. Ah, that's a Bunhead Victoria. Okay, no, I got one uh, Bunhead uh, in the last video. That was pretty good. And this is a Bunhead Penny. Um, we'll get the date of it later. Because I'm sure as eggs, I won't be able to see it. And I left me specs behind today. But, uh, oh, I don't know, 19... I think I said 1895, something like that. But we'll uh, check that out and we'll come back to you. But that is uh, Bunhead Victoria and uh, we'll see you at the next. Okay, let's see what we've got in here in the top of this clod. Uh, oh, it's just another copper alloy ring that's been squashed. Um, no idea what it's off. No markings on it. Oh, it might have been... A, oh, it's a buckle. Okay, I can see it now. Anyway, it's a squash buckle. Uh, turn it over. The pin would have gone there, through. And uh, so, what that uh, age that would be, I wouldn't know. But it's a copper alloy buckle. And the pin would have gone across from there to there. And it's just flattened. Okay. On to the next. Not sure what we've got down here. Uh, right down in the little look. Oh, it's another buckle. It's a shoe buckle. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, again, a little bit uh, twisted and bent. 
but uh, that's a that's a Georgian shoe buckle. 1700 something like that maybe and no I don't think it'll be any later than that but that is a nice little shoe buckle as I said it's a bit bent and we'll try and bend it a little bit straighter than it is but uh, anyway nice little obviously pin missing but that would have gone on the shoe I can demonstrate that would have gone on the shoe across like that. Very nice copper alloy uh, buckle. Well, I think I can see silver on the side of the wall there. Oh, but is it a silver? Or is it just foil or a button? And uh, here it comes. Uh, what are you? It's a bit of junk. <laughs> oh, well, don't know what you are. The button of some sort or a washer. Or... <laughs> uh, I don't know what you are. But you're not what I wanted. I don't think you're silver anyway. No. You're too clean. Get through clean. Well, what that was for, I've got no idea. It's a catch of some sort. And uh, that's why it was giving such a bad signal, but that's what it is. Well, just come out in the spoil here. Looks kind of modern. Uh, well, it would be predestinal anyway, uh, but it looks like uh, it'll be a George the Six or something like that. It's not that uh, old. Be like if I could get it clean. I can't get it clean at all. What? Well, I can't make out what it is, but I think it's a a ship apney. It'll either be. Uh, uh, George the Sixth, or um, uh, or Queen Elizabeth, but I can't quite can't see the date, can't see anything on it. But we'll check it out later. Well, that gave a banging signal anyway. Uh, just a little bit of pipe, uh, either an end or cut off cut. It's too it's too clean just to be an off cut, so it's for something. But uh, not a clue what. But there you go. One gave a banging signal one little bit of copper pipe moving on well I got a feeling this is the uh, end of a dart uh, the flight missing off there and the point missing off there but I think that's what that is it's uh, part of a dart okay moving on well another little buckle a little D buckle I think uh, don't know how old that is uh, it's got a little band there, so I shouldn't imagine. Again, I'd put that uh, back into the uh, early 1900s, something like that, mid 1900s up to 1950. Um, we'll check it out, but I suspect that's what it is. One little D buckle. Moving on. Well, I can see it down there, down about 8 inches, something like that, 7 or 8 inches, it looks like a penny. Uh, not sure who it is. Okay. Who are you? Ah. Uh, Edward the Seventh, is it? Okay. That's what it looks like. Nice patina on these jolly pennies that are coming up. Wow, look at the date, I can see it, nineteen ten, Edward the Seventh, yep, nineteen ten, uh, Edward the Seventh, beautiful patina, nineteen ten. 
That is a lovely. Look at the condition on that. One penny. Yeah, it looks like you just dropped it after it had been minted. Well, we have what distinctly looks like a harmonica reed um, down about nine inches. Uh, found many of them, as you have, I'm sure. Well, we've got something there on the side of the wall about six inches down. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we'll get out now. I think it's just a bit of Victorian furniture or something. Yeah. Something like that, a little lamp hole to get a cracking signal. But that's what that is. Some sort of uh, there's three holes in it. Uh, yeah, some sort of holder or something. No idea what it is, but there you go. It's relatively modern. Moving on. Well, I can see a little bit of silver, but I think it's a baton. We'll pull him out and have a little look. It's definitely silver. Oh no! Oh my goodness, it's a silver Vicky. Oh my goodness, I thought that was... It gave a dreadful signal. It's almost white, but oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, silver in the hole. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a little while since I found a... Uh, I think it's a, a Vicky shilling. It's too, too big for a sixpence. Um, but uh, it's uh, 18... Can't see it. We'll check that out now. 1884. That's an 1884, and that is definitely a shilling. It's absolutely white clean, but uh, that is a Victoria Bunhead shilling. Look how worn that is. Wow, and well, look how shiny it is. How clean it's come out of this ground. 1884 Vicky shilling. Oh, yes. So pleased with that. The, 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 the signal was lousy. I thought, oh, it's going to be a button. And uh, there it was. One Vicky well shilling. Then, on well our then. way to the next. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm, I'm just about finished here now. We've been here uh, just short of three hours now and uh, found a few pennies, uh, George V Hapney, bits and pieces, uh, artifacts and so on and so forth. But it's been a, a good day. The sun has been shining. It's not that cold. The wind has died down. Uh, had my coat off for a while in my shirt sleeves and my body warmer, but uh, then it cooled down again. And it's actually going to rain a bit later, but uh, and the wind is going to come up. But hey, we're here. We've done it. We've got our little bit of silver. Time to go home. Thanks to all my subscribers, those that watch my videos. Really appreciate it. Please uh, subscribe, hit the like, little thumbs up, and a, and a comment. And we're off Whatever. now. See you on the next hunt.